<clears throat> Good morning, uh, River of Life. Excited to uh, be sharing today's today's Devo. I'm uh, downtown at work here to this morning, and uh, honestly, a little bit sleepy. I guess I'm gonna take my hat off so you can see my face. But hey, I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to uh, be sharing uh, with you this morning. Um, did a little prep work today, so if I'm not looking right at the camera, it's because I'm looking at my notes over here on the screen. Um, and uh, I'm talking about like like what we do matters. So like what we're doing for God matters, even if it feels like it doesn't. Um, I was speaking to uh, I was talking to a talented musician. Um, about leading in the church and leading for kids and um because we're doing vbs this week and i'm getting to lead worship uh, with an awesome team of leaders and we're just pouring into these kids lives and seeing like them continue to become more confident and excited about worship and the times that we get to speak and talk and have that that uh interaction um i was talking to this music musician and he was just like i'm i'm just a I'm just a musician i'm just a singer i'm just a tech person like you can do it without me you can have the same impact without me you can that's this is what he was saying he's saying like, you can you can have just as much significance um in your ministry without me and i said to him or this person um i've, I've had this conversation more than once with multiple people but i said to to them to this person um you know what I, I I think yes I could do it without you I think we could make it work we could figure it out but would we have the same impact without you absolutely not and it's not because of the skill or talent or um, because of what you bring to the table in that way it's because of you being present it's because of who you are and what you're doing um, in your platform and how much that matters so it's like um, what, what we're doing, whether or not it feels significant, is, in t is, is incredibly significant because what we're doing is bringing our very best uh, to the Lord. We're bringing our very best to him and we're leading by example. Um, as I was just like going over this stuff, one of the key points, key takeaways, and I'm going to drop it in a comment right after this is, the greatest opportunities to influence others are never the most glamorous. Um, it's never the most glamorous. Like, leading for a VBS is glamorous. It can be. We have some lights. We've got motions. We've got all the kids cheering and singing along. There's, there's over 100 kids at VBS. That's glamorous. But when VBS is over and... Um, when kids program starts in the fall, I'm going to lead some worship from time to time for these kids. And it won't be glamorous. I probably won't have a band. I probably won't have fancy lights. I probably won't always have a sound system that's working. It might just be me and a guitar. And that's not glamorous at all. That's not exciting. That's not selling out a stadium um, kind of musician stuff. But it's it's an amazing opportunity to influence the lives of these kids in in a way to love Jesus. Um, in uh, Psalms 37, uh, the writer says, um, "Let's let's read right from the beginning." Psalms 37:1. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong, for like grass they soon fade away, like spring flowers they will soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will safely live in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will help you. Just right, right there, verse 5. Commit everything you do to the Lord. So like leading for kids to the Lord. Writing for clients at work, what I do every day. Committing it to the Lord. Trusting in him and that he will help me. Um, and then it, even in, in James 2, he talks... Faith without works. Faith without works is dead. So we can't just we can't just do the easy thing, which is to uh, it's it's always easier. Doing nothing is always easier. It's always easier to sit back and say, "I'm good. I, I've got this. I I understand Christianity. I have a relationship with Jesus. I feel good. 
I feel like I can be closer to Jesus when I'm alone, when I'm not with people, uh, when I'm doing my quiet time. That might all be true. But faith without works is dead because without the opportunity to spend time with Jesus in community, we're, what, is, what, is, what is church? What is, what is Christianity? We, we're nothing more than just a, a mindset, an ideology. The, the thing that makes Christianity unique to other religions is the community that we have with each other, the, the ability to experience um, God's presence together. Um, so for me, what I'm doing matters because I'm leading from a place of influence and giving it all to God despite what that may be. Maybe it's as simple as making the food for the students at Color Wars. Or I think of the people who stay late at church to clean up, to clean the toilets, to make sure that all of the admin stuff is done, to um, stack the chairs after a Sunday service. It might not seem like it matters, but all of these little things that we do to serve Jesus, to serve the church, to serve each other, it matters. It matters. And, and we have to commit those things to the Lord and trust that when everything we do, if we can give it back to God, um, it matters and it has an impact and it changes the world as we know it so I like to challenge you guys when I do these things I like to say hey just so you know you should uh, not just go about your week as usual this should challenge you so I want you to be challenged this week um, to find a, a menial task whatever it is a menial task of service and think about how that task matters to those around you it could be as simple as emptying the dishwasher. I hate emptying the dishwasher. Hate it. Absolutely. Like, why would I want to do that? I want to watch TV, get some work done, uh, walk around in my yard. I don't know anything but that, right? But it matters because if I do it, then my wife doesn't have to do it. She sees it as an act of service. I can give that back to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm doing this not because I want to, but because I know my wife enjoys it. And I know that if I do it unto you, it can be seen as praise. It can be seen as worship. It can be seen as serving the Lord by serving others. So, find those tasks. Um, I challenge you not just to find the simple ones though. Don't just don't just do a cop out like, oh, I walked the dog for my parents, um, if you're a student out there. Try to find a task that maybe isn't that simple. Try to find a task that maybe looks like serving on a Sunday morning. That maybe looks like going to Pastor Dave or Jessica Hills or uh, Denise or Deb. Say, hey, is there some way that like I can make your life easier? Is there some way that, like, I could help out? I know Jessica Hills was just talking about needing the weeds in the parking lot all pulled, and nobody wants to do it. But, like, those are the things that matter. And those are the things that, like, hey, you might make Jessica's life a lot easier because then she doesn't have to think about it, and all the Hills kids don't have to do it. But you, you, you do it unto the Lord. It has an impact far greater than just simply making those rocks look better by getting all the weeds out. So that's my, uh, that's my two cents in eight minutes. Um, I hope that uh, that's encouraging. I hope that you understand that um, wherever you're at and whatever you're doing and however you're discouraged about it, it matters and the Lord has um, the best for you. So if you jumped in halfway and didn't catch this whole thing, make sure you go back to the beginning. Um, appreciate all of you at River of Life and the community that we have at River of Life. And I hope that you continue to have a great week. Thank you.